I was a student at Mary M. Bethune High School in Halifax, Virginia. Uh, when we were in the eighth grade, we had exploratory classes and I met the home economics teacher. The home economics teacher encouraged me to sign up for the class and there were four years of home economics available. Not long after that, she met my parents and my parents said, yes, Ms. Clark, whatever you'd like her to do, we will support you. So that's how I got involved, by meeting the teacher. Awesome. Some of the activities I participated in while in home economics at Mary M. Bethune High School included, number one, uh, working in the home economics class to the best of my ability. I enjoyed school. Uh, I did whatever I could to be involved in school and not to have to do a lot of work at home. So I, I think that I became president pretty soon after, uh, maybe even in the, in the ninth grade. Uh, and we came to Virginia State here on the campus for our summer conventions. And that was a whole new world for me, coming to Virginia State and participating in the summer, pro summer convention here. From this, I was led to be groomed for the, an office. And the office I ran for was president, and I won that. The next year, we went to, um, let's see, the next year we went to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We went to Southern University, and there at Southern, I ran for an office. It was first vice president, and I won that. So the year that I presided, there was a national convention at North Carolina A&T in Greensboro, and I presided as first national vice president and had the occasion to appear on their local early morning TV show called RFD um, in the morning, something like that, and was interviewed as a, one of the offices of the New Homemakers of America. Well, personally, our home economics teacher had high standards for us. We wrote out our plans, we planned everything we were gonna do, and we followed our plans. Therefore, when you got ready to do your experiences as in sewing or food preparation or in childcare or working with the, uh, home, the uh, child development unit, you knew just what you were gonna do. And we had to find out uh, what time we were gonna use, what materials we were gonna use, what experiences we were gonna have, and we had to have an evaluation at the end. And by doing that, it helped me to organize my life. And the teacher also scared us to death. The teacher came to our home in the summer because the home economics teachers and I think the agriculture teachers did home visits and we did projects. Therefore, she expected my project at home to be up to date just like it was in the classroom. So that put me on my toes and I learned a lot from that. What else? Yes, things that the New Homemakers of America helped me to do were to learn how, business, how meetings are run with the Robert's Rules of Order, uh, taught me proper dress for different occasions. I had to pack enough and put it in that little suitcase so I'd have what I needed for the different meetings that we would have at state. We also, took a plane ride. The first time, well, the occasion was going to the American Home Economics Association meeting in Miami, Florida. And that took a lot of planning, preparation, and getting the nerve to get on that plane. And we did. We flew there, stayed in a beautiful uh, hotel on the beach, and don't remember much about that, but that was very exciting for me. Those are some of the things that I learned from NHA. A little old person like me from the tobacco farm and a log cabin invited to be a guest speaker that was uh, stated to be given by the governor and the secretary of agriculture and forestry. Woo, it was great. <laughs> what else would I like to share with you? I had quite a few years as a home economics teacher. Uh, in the final years of my home economics uh, teaching in the high school, 
I became a new homemaker, not a new homemakers of America, but a future homemakers of America advisor. Now there is a difference. The New Homemakers of America was an organization for the historically black high schools and students. And after integration, which was, um, I can't give you, 65, I taught in the Howard County school system in Columbia, Maryland. And I helped open a brand new high school there, and it had a home economics department, and I was the sole teacher. And therefore, I became the advisor to the New Homemakers of America. Yes, my brother was a member of the Future Farmers, no, I'm sorry, New, new. Farmers of America. And my sister was a member of the New Homemakers of America. And on the table, there is the picture of a trophy that she won as, um, which was the Crisco Award for being an outstanding student in home economics. You'll see my, one of my plaques out there also. Uh, that is for Teacher of the Year from the American Home Economics Association and Family Circle Magazine back in 1980. I've had a wonderful ride. You can tell. <laughs> you can tell from the smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Anything else Lessons. I want to say? I really appreciate the people in my life, especially my parents, my church and community, my home economics teacher, all of my teachers, and many adults and fellow students who have helped me to get, um, have, the, have the experiences that I've had in New Homemakers of America. And it still influences my life. I want to keep things organized. I want to get a lot of things done. I want to make the most of what I have, and I want to share with anyone who will listen.